Hello and welcome to another episode of TED IELTS. I'm your host, David S. Wills, and today we're going to be looking at the topic of cooking. I'm going to teach you a few things today. We're going to start off with some vocabulary that'll be in two parts, verbs and nouns. The verbs will describe what you do when you're cooking, and the nouns will take a look around the kitchen at what you use. Then we will look at an IELTS speaking part two cue card, and I'll give you a sample answer all about cooking something. As we're going through this video, I'm going to introduce you to many important verbs and nouns about cooking. I'm going to show you a picture that illustrates the vocabulary. I would like you to think about what you're looking at, try to guess the word, and then I will tell you. I will say it several times to model the pronunciation. You can try to copy me. Let's begin. What is this? This is bake. Bake. She is baking some gingerbread men. To bake means to cook something in an oven. Barbecue. Barbecue. You can also say BBQ, although the full word is better. Barbecue. He is barbecuing some meat and vegetables. Barbecue means to cook over a grill using charcoal or wood, or sometimes gas, and it is usually done outside. Beat, beat. He is beating some eggs. Beat means to mix something very quickly and vigorously in order to get air into the mixture. If you are baking, you will often beat eggs using this machine. Boil. Boil. Boil means to make water very, very hot. Technically, it means water becoming more than 100 degrees Celsius. We can talk about boiling food if we put the food into the hot water. I can boil pasta or boil rice, for example. Broil, broil. This is broiling. Broiling means to cook something underneath a heat source. When the heat is above and the food is underneath, we can say broil. You might be thinking this is the word cut. We use a knife to cut. However, look at what he is cutting. This is an onion. And he is cutting the onion into small pieces. So we will use the word chop. Chop. He is chopping an onion. In this picture, we can see someone adding sugar to flour. These are both dry ingredients. When we add two dry ingredients together, we usually say combine. Combine. He is combining sugar 
and flower. Fry, fry. To fry means to cook something in hot oil. Here we can see someone frying some meat and vegetables. Great, great. She is grating cheese. Great means to use a grater, as we can see in this picture, to shred food. You can grate cheese or carrots. You can even grate an apple for certain recipes. It means to use this device to get your food into very small pieces. Need need kneading the dough to knead means to prepare dough with your hands you are pressing it and pushing it to get air into the mixture in order to make bread pay attention to the spelling it sounds like n e e d but it is spelt k n e a d knead Marinate, marinate. They are marinating these pork chops. To marinate means to leave meat in a sauce for a long time to gain more flavor. You often have to marinate meat overnight before cooking it. Roast, roast. This is a roast beef. It has been roasted in an oven. We also eat roast chicken, roast pork, roast duck, and so on. Roast means to cook something for a long time in an oven so that it becomes crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. I'll give you a little help with this picture. When I was looking to make this video, I couldn't quite find a picture that was very good. This means to cook at a low temperature. I can boil water at 100 degrees, but if I want to make soup, maybe I need to cook it for a long time at a lower temperature. To do that, I simmer it. Simmer. The soup is simmering. This means to cook over a stove at low heat. Squeeze, squeeze. She is squeezing a lemon. When we squeeze fruit, the juice will come out and we can collect it. Finally, toast, toast. You might be thinking this is a noun, a piece of toast. Yes, but it is also a verb. When we put bread in a toaster, we toast the bread and it becomes toast. You can toast other things too. It means to lightly heat something on the outside. Okay, let's move on to some nouns. These are items you will find around the kitchen, mostly for cooking. Here we can see two items. I assume you know knife, knife. However, we're looking at what the knife is sitting on. This is a chopping board, chopping board. You cut vegetables on a chopping board.
Board means a piece of wood, usually in English, although it can also be plastic. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. This is a machine for washing dishes. It is a dishwasher. Frying pan. Frying pan. If you want to fry food, you should use a frying pan. Just add a little oil, put it on the stove, and you can fry in your frying pan. Microwave. Microwave. This is a microwave. We can cook food very quickly in the microwave. Pot. Pot. This is a pot. It is bigger than a pan because it is deeper to hold water. You can put water in here and boil it. Or you could also simmer things in a pot. Recipe. Recipe. This is a recipe. A recipe will tell you how to cook something. It will include ingredients and instructions. Recipe. Here we are looking at two parts. Up above is the stove and down below the oven. Stove. Oven. You can cook things on the stove or bake things in the oven. Finally, this is a wok. A wok. It looks a little different to a frying pan and is not quite as deep as a pot. If you are going to cook some Asian foods, fried rice, noodles, stir-fry, maybe you will use a wok. So I hope that this vocabulary was helpful for you. You can look back at that video, practice your pronunciation. If you found it useful, don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up below. You can like this video, click the subscribe and hit the notifications icon to get my next video when it's released. And you can also check my website www.tedielts.com for more useful and free IELTS lessons. But this isn't the end. We've got one more thing we're going to do. Let's look at a speaking part two cue card. So here's our cue card. It says, talk about a dish you know how to cook. You should say what ingredients are required to cook it, where you learned it from, how you cook this dish, and tell if this is an easy dish to cook or not. Remember that you have one minute to make some notes on the topic. Here I would recommend making notes on ingredients and the directions for cooking. Think about the verbs I taught you previous and any useful nouns. Here is my sample answer. One dish that I know how to cook is rosemary bread. I love baking and this is one of the best breads that I know how to make. So I make it quite often when I know I'll have friends come over. I think I learned it about six years ago after I grew a big rosemary bush. It's pretty simple to make actually. 
The most important ingredients are flour and rosemary, as you might imagine. Of course, you also need yeast, water, and a little salt. You could add some additional herbs, or maybe some butter, too. I don't remember the quantities required, because I usually refer to a recipe whenever I'm baking. You need to mix the yeast and water and leave them for a while, and then you pretty much just combine all the ingredients together in a big plastic bowl and mix them until they form a dough. At that point, you'll have to knead the dough with your hands for about five minutes. You then leave it for an hour to rise before putting it in the oven and baking for about a quarter of an hour. I'd say this is a pretty easy dish to cook, but just make sure that you get the ingredients in the right quantities or the texture will be all wrong. So I hope you find this lesson very helpful. You can take a look for Ted IELTS on Facebook, Twitter. You can check our website. All those links are below. And one more thing. I've written a free IELTS textbook. Um, this is for grammar, for writing. You can take a look at my website. On the right of the page, you'll find the free download link. If you want, you can buy a paper copy on Amazon. But the free PDF is available at my website as well. All right, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you again next week for another episode of TED IELTS. Have a great week.